my YouTube family, welcome back to my channel and this week's Beauty Tuesday. And in today's video, we are going to talk all about Makeup Revolution. So today I am going to cover what's hot and what's not in my Makeup Revolution collection. So Makeup Revolution is a very affordable brand and you get a lot for your money most of the times. But there are some of their products that you can save your money on and maybe don't have to go and spend on. So I wanted to clear out what is hot and what is not in the collection that I have from Makeup Revolution. And I have mostly palettes from them. I do have some other things also and I've had more things that I have decluttered. So we can start about the things that I have decluttered first. So I did have the Too Faced dupes for their like baked blushes and bronzers in their heart shape kind of thing that Makeup Revolution had. I did get rid of those because they were so bulky and some of the products inside were good but some of them were super glittery so uh, I did get rid of all of them. I had them in multiple different colors but I got rid of them because they took up so much space because the packages were so bulky. I have got rid of some highlighters also that have been a little bit sparkling but I do have some highlighters from them that I'm going to show you today that I really absolutely love. I've also tried their banana powder but I got rid of that because I had the banana powder from Ben Nye and it's more or less equally. Uh, so I would say that is a very good dupe. Their loose powders are very good dupes for the Ben Nye banana powders and translucent powders. But now let's dig into the items that I have here. So let's start with the concealer. So it's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. So it comes in a little package like this. So it's a very small package and I do like this concealer it's not a concealer that I love but it's an okay concealer for the price I think I paid 55 Swedish kroner for this I think that is around like six dollars so it's very affordable uh, I have it in the color C3 so this is when I'm a little more pale as for right now it comes with a dew foot applicator like this so it's very similar to Tarte Shape Tape for example but it's not as much cover. It can crease up a little bit, you definitely need to set this concealer. But I would say it's a good everyday concealer if you do want to have a more affordable concealer and don't spend so much money. So it's a good concealer and it's definitely a wow, more a wow than a no. Ultra Straw Cream. If you do like liquid highlighters, this is a very good one. It's getting more like a radiant glow and not so glittery. Some liquid highlighters I do not like because they are too glittery, but this one is more like a strobe, so it gives you that kind of shine to the cheek without being straight up glitter. So this is a very good one and it's a good value pack because you don't spend so much money and it's 50 milliliters in here. That is 1.69 fluid ounce and this is a very good one. I really like this highlighter. Uh, but I don't use liquid highlighters so much, so that is the only thing that the reason why I don't use it so much. But when we're talking about liquid highlighters, we also have this that are cold liquid highlighters that comes in a dropper. Uh, I have a little mixed feelings. I can say this unicorn color is very glittery, but it's also like, I mean, it's kind of this unicorn feeling to the highlighter but th this highlighter is very very glittery but I kind of like this highlighter to use more as an inner corner highlight I've been using it like that but it's giving me like a purpley kind of vibe so I would never use it on my cheeks but the other two highlighters in liquid champagne and liquid starlight are very good ones and very good quality if you do want to have a liquid highlighter in this kind of drip. And you can also mix this in with your foundations. I have never tried that but I know that you can do it with this kind of liquid highlighters. So those are really good. It's good value for the money. Then we can talk about my favorite from Makeup Revolution. This is my favorite product above all the products that I have from Makeup Revolution and it's my Pro Illuminate Highlighter and this highlighter is my one of my ride or die highlighters this is the highlighter that I wear the most here on my channel and this is the highlighter that I love the most out of all my highlighters I have two other highlighters that I love equally amount but this is 
for sure my favorite highlighter and it's giving me this kind of glow that I want from a highlighter without being glittery, without being too shiny, it's just like perfect and you get so much product for a good price. So this one is really something that you should look for if you haven't tried this already. The only thing is that when I'm super duper duper pale during winter time this one is a little bit too dark so I wish they came with more colors. Maybe they do, I haven't checked to be honest. And also that it's so big I kind of wish that they had also a travel size but this one really check it out if you haven't because it's so good. And we have the Pro HD palettes, amplified palettes and one is called Glow Getcher and I got them because I really like the outline of the palettes but I have to say the Glow Getcher I mean a lot of these colors are very glittery uh, I like to use them as inner corner highlights and more like eyeshadows than what I use them for my cheeks to be honest the only colors that are not super glittery is this one and this one so those I can use as highlighters the other ones I use more as an inner corner highlight or to mix in my eyeshadows but it's kind of a big one to take with you only to use for inner corner highlights so it's maybe not my favorite product out of the Makeup Revolution products and a little bit the same thing goes with the other one that is called Brighter Than My Future that is a little more darker colors and here you have like some blush and some highlighters and I mean this one is better I like this one more than what I do with this one but it's still not something that I will carry around it's not something that I love I take this highlighter many times over this one and uh, so it's maybe I will say if you do like this kind of big packages and you do like that kind of layout they're very nice to have displayed but it's not my favorite out of the Makeup Revolution collection. Then we go into some smaller palettes so I have one Ultra Contour palette so this is a palette where you have contour colors and also some banana like highlight colors and uh, you have two highlighters in here. To be Fairly honest, I haven't played so much with this. I have been contouring a few times with this and it was okay. It was not a palette that, I, that blew my mind, but it's not a bad palette. So I would say that it, if you are on a budget, it can be a good palette for highlights and contouring. But I always reach for my Ben Nye or my Shade and Light palette over this. But I promise I'm gonna try to play with it more so I can say. But for me, this palette is okay. I have been using this color to contour with a few times and it's okay. It ends up not so patchy, but it's not blending as good as my other contour colors. But it's an okay palette if you are on a budget, but I would say something between wow and no. It depends on your budget, I guess. Then we have eyeshadow palettes and to be honest, Makeup Revolution does very good eyeshadow palettes but I do not own so many palettes from them because I just do, do not know why. One thing that I do not like is that they are very very small pans in their eyeshadow palettes. I do not know why but I kind of like a little more bigger pans in eyeshadow palettes. Not that I use them up, I just feel like I can rough my brush around a little bit better. Um, so that, I think that is the main reason why I do not go for so many eyeshadow palettes from them but they do have very good quality on the eyeshadow palettes that they have at least for the ones that I have tried and this one is with a lot of shimmer colors it's some matte colors in there but most of them are shimmers haven't tried this palette out so much so I cannot say if it's super wow but from swatching the palette I can say that the pigments are very good so same thing here, something in between wow and no. Then we have two highlighter palettes. So the first highlight palette is called Highlight. And here we have three different colors. So it's one like unicorn color. All of them are kind of unicorn, I will say, but the last one is a little more golden. These highlighters are good, but I can say that they really show, like they're giving you a big glow. So if you do like a highlighter that is really showing a lot on your face, this is a very good one if you are on a budget and it also comes with a mirror. So I like in all their palettes they have like a big sleek mirror in here so you get a lot of value for your money. 
But my favorite highlighter palette is the Makeup Revolution Radiant Light Palette. This is much more saddle palette if you do want to have some more glow. I would say this is like the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Palette that you can use this as dim light in your whole face and I like to use this as a contour bronzer like topper and uh, yeah this is a very good one if you are like more looking for a neutral kind of highlighter or like an overall topper or something very very good one very good quality for the money then I have some blush palettes and that is the last thing that I have from Makeup Revolution so we have three blush palettes. One is called Golden Sugar and this one I will say is more like a blush topper or a blush uh, highlighter. I would say more like a highlighter. These two upper colors are more like a blush but I would say those colors down here are very glittery so I would say if you do like more like a shiny kind of blush I would say you can top off with this. This is not my favorite to be honest because I'm not so much into glittery blushes. Some of them gives like a nice shimmer. This for example I really like, I don't think it's going to show. There are some good products in here but I do not love all the products in this one. Uh, I think they are a little bit too glittery. Here we have the blush palette that is called Sugar and Spice and here we have more matte. So we have six matte blushes and two like blush toppers. I like this kind of option more that you can choose if you do want to have shimmer or if you do want to have matte because I do like to have matte blushes sometimes and then if you do want to have some shimmer you can chop it off with some shimmers. And I also like this one. Maybe I like this one that is called Hot Spice a little bit more because it's a little more neutral colors. The Sugar and Spice is a little more like pink colors but they also have some mauve colors in here so that is why I do like this. I do not like straight up pink colors like those two but the other mauve colors in here I do like. In this, in this Hot Spice I do like all of them. They do also have two toppers or like highlighters here so so I really like those blushes. Those are all matte except for the two in the bottoms. Those are shimmers. So as you can see you can get a lot of good quality from Makeup Revolution. Out of everything that I have here most of it I do really like and I do think that you get so good quality for such affordable prices. Makeup Revolution does a lot of dupes and they are very fast whenever they see that higher end brands do some new products they are very fast on the game to do the same kind of products so I really have to give them thumbs up for that and most of this are wow in this video and if you haven't tried Makeup Revolution out give it a chance because it can really save yourself a lot of money so I hope that you did like this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So this is going to be the end of this video and I hope that if you haven't already that you would love to subscribe to my channel and be part of my wonderful YouTube family here. And with that being said I just want to say thank you so much for watching this time and I hope I will see you in tomorrow's Wildcard Wednesday video. But for this time we say bye!